guys? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Crazy Brick. And today, we got for you guys a Brick Mania haul. So, I apologize, I lost my voice. I was at a hockey camp this weekend and was kind of a coach. So, I was screaming at the kids and stuff. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I lost my voice. So, I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah. So, here we are. This is from the Miramar location. Actually, it was awesome because uh, when we were driving out of the... Driving another thing, if you guys don't know, it's across from the Miramar Air Force Base. Um, and uh, as we were leaving, uh, Osprey took off. <laughs> so that was pretty sick. Um, so, yeah, go check it out in uh, Miramar. Uh, it's, in, it's in San Diego, I think, Carl, Carlsbad, San Diego area. So go check it out down there. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this awesome haul. We've got a ton of stuff for you guys. So let's go ahead and dump that out. And we'll move it to the side then. So, the bag down there. Got tons of minifigs, few kits, and all that good stuff. So, we'll go ahead and start off with just this thing right here. So, Brickmania Miramar. Yep, we saw one of those taking off in real life. We also saw one made out Lego. They had a display model as well. But, uh, yeah, there. So, we saw one of those taking off in real life <laughs> when we were living in the store. So, that was pretty sick. Um, and, then, yeah, so, yeah, it's in San Diego. 7340 Miramar Road. Um, awesome store. So, it's actually a pretty big store, too. Um, it's not like their normal small ones. So, a little card they gave you as well. These only show their old ones, actually. Been to the Chicago store. My brother's been to all those. Or, been to those. Actually, he's been to all those, yeah. So, let's go ahead and start with... Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and start with this minifigure right here. We've got the Neptune Spear U.S. Navy SEAL. This guy goes for $35. He's pretty crazy, um, but his uh, the reason he's so expensive as a figure in total, as a figure in general, is for this part right here. We'll get a close-up of him right here. Is uh, He comes with this crazy night vision goggle helmet or something. Yeah, night vision goggle. Absolutely crazy. Um, so that is... It, it's one crazy minifig. So obviously, $35, bucks, pretty expensive right there. Um... Ties, one of my ties is up there. Definitely my top ten most expensive. Just like, oh, obviously it's tied with like fifty other figures because like they're all like thirty five. And uh, yeah, so he's probably in the, actually top fifteen probably. Um, so great figure, um, great printing by Brickmania. Let me say that um, that it's not too overdone as we see them do with some of the Brickmania ones. So we got a bunch of pouches in the front. We've got a nice, uh, this like a little insignia. Um, but yeah, I nice. I like the little camo specs too. They did a great job with camo. Um, yeah, and they do do they do wrap the entire arm, bottom, top, side, except obviously inside. You can't do inside otherwise. As many people said uh, in their videos or in the thing, they, you cannot wrap the inside. So um, no 360 boot in the print inside like many people. But yeah, so there's one figure so far from Brickmania, and then we can go ahead and put that down with my other collection of those things. So if you don't know, I collect all the little Brickmania cases. So I've got a whole bin of them right there. Like literally massive, probably got like five, probably, uh, probably close to 100 cases in there now from all my figures. And then we'll move on here. So a cheaper figure, or not a cheap figure, but this is like the cheapest Brickmania gets now it is. So 22 bucks for this guy right here. The uh, Vietnam War, US military police. Um, so this, this is a sweet figure. Um, Brickmania has a bunch of, I, I think this is version probably like two or three of military police that they've done. Um, they have some other ones with white helmets and stuff. And uh, yeah, this this is just a cool figure all in all. Um, so nice printing. I like the color too. It's like, it's printed on dark gray, but then they do like this weird, this cool dark green that they do with a lot of their U.S. World War II drivers and U.S. Uh, uh, US uh, Vietnam War uh, era so they do that cool little dark green. So that's two figures so far. And uh, heading on to the third figure. And we'll go ahead and go with uh, another Vietnam one here. We got a Hugh Marine here. Um, this one retails for $22 as well. And uh, this is pretty sweet here. So right there we've got the, I believe that's the heart, the Ace of Hearts. The card on the top of the helmet, Ace of Hearts. Um, it's nice camo. We've got this little... Nice camo on the helmet. Um, yeah, and then uh, he's got a knife there. So, it, once again, that little odd, odd green print. Um, I think that's just printed on what kind of torso? I guess the arms, they do the full. I don't know. What, what color torso is that? 
Torso's dark gray as well. Yeah, they, they, it's another one like that Vietnam, like I said before. They did that cool green for Brickmania. And uh, great figure all in all right there. Um, I like the head. The head's pretty cool. Um, that great print. That's the same one that they use for the uh, my favorite figure. The This guy right here. The, uh, let me pull him out here. One of my first, one of my earlier Brickmania figs here. The uh, Point to Hawk minifig. That's just a uh, African American head there, and uh, yeah. So moving on to the next part here, we'll go ahead and go with the Royal Marines Yomper here. This guy's 35 as well. This figure I was trying to get online for a while, and then every time I go to get him, he sells out pretty quick before I can actually buy him. I, I've had him in my cart a few times, so awesome that the store had him. So once it, once again in these big containers, retails for 35 dollars, and. Uh, Let's go ahead and open this guy up. So he's got a sweet 3D printed backpack. Um, I think 3D print, yeah, three, definitely 3D print. Um, probably more likely on a resin printer than a 3D because 3D usually has more lines and stuff. But here, so sweet figure. The camo, the camo scheme with this is awesome. So there's a whole story about this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a review on this figure. They had to trek, I want to say, 200 miles or something like that. There's a whole story behind it, this, why they made this figure. Um, so, yeah, he's got the Royal Marines and Signet on the hat, on the cap there. Uh, sweet backpack, though. I mean, they need, they need to come up with this backpack in a video. I'm sure they will. This, this, is only, this is a newer figure. I would say only about a month and a half old or two months maybe. So, I'm sure they'll come up with this backpack individually soon. So, that's pretty sweet. So, that's four figures so far in the haul. And moving on, we'll go ahead with a World War II figure here. First World War II figure of the haul. Not the last. Uh, so, yeah. This guy right here. We've got the uh, World War II British Desert Rat. This guy retails for $23 right there. And just going to put his put his helmet on there. There he is. Let's put this down below in my crate of stuff. And there he is. So... Um, sweet figure. This is version two. I had version one. Version one was a ye was had the yellow, just a regional like li yellow skin tone. And so I had him. I sold him on eBay a while back. Um, so just because I didn't like the yellow on, I didn't, I don't really like yellow figures. Um, so I tried to, I tried to do as many light flesh or just whatever whatever uh, you know whatever color schemes that are more realistic. So there we go. Um, sweet figure. Twenty three dollars definitely should have been. I don't, I don't know why they just didn't make this guy twenty two. I don't I don't know why they made him twenty three. They they got to just stick with a solid price point like Minifico. Minifico, no matter what it is, sticks to the same price point. I feel like ninety percent of the time. So we've got two more individual figures, and we'll start off with this one. So we'll go from the lowest priced one to the highest priced one. So this one was thirty bucks here. Um, the first mountain, first I believe minute. Well, first I don't know what the MN stands for. Um, at Gettysburg, plus a perfect caliber brick arms. So, this this is a pretty sweet brick arms musket right here. Is this flintlock? I'm not sure. I think this is a flintlock musket. Yeah, flintlock musket. Sweet, uh, sweet. I believe this is like print or hand. I'm not. This is these aren't hand painted. I'm pretty sure, but these are printed on. So, sweet musket there. And then we've got the figure right here. One man. I think that stands for one minute, right? Um, on this cap, he's got a little goatee. <laughs> so I'm gonna start definitely collecting some more Civil War figures. That's for sure. I have a very cool idea for a Civil War mock eventually. So, yeah, stay tuned. And this is not the last Civil <laughs> Civil War figure of the haul. Put it that way. And uh, moving on to the most expensive minifigure I've gotten a long time. $41. The Korean War Chinese Infantry here. Um, the reason he is this expensive though is he comes with a perfect caliber uh, perfect caliber brick arms. But the perfect caliber brick arms let me show you here. I picked this up because we'll do a video. It's a reloaded brick arms that they print on top of. So this is one that is very rare, and that's the reason it's so expensive, because it's this figure, this gun, that's already worth $12. So I picked up one individually here. So you can see that there. Go ahead and pull it out for you. And then they print on it. So that's the reason this figure is also so expensive. I feel like it normally just, I think this one would go for about $25 without that. And then you have this gun, which is already worth $12 alone. And then you print on top of it, and then you need to make a little bit of profit. So sweet, and we'll do the comparison right now, and then we'll do another video. 
talking about why this guy's $41. So, here we have him. So, there's the two guns. This one here probably is worth like 15 or 20 now because it has the... Yeah, I'd say this is worth 15 And then there's this one right here without the printing on it. And you can just see this one's already worth $12 standing stand alone. And then you've got that. So, let me actually put the camera down the ground here. So... $12 without printing and probably 15 more like 20 probably worth uh, Maybe 17 so sweet. You can just see they did like some wood markings on there And they made that look more realistic gun color. So that was pretty sweet right there So and then here's the figure the full figure right here Chinese infantry here and uh, Definitely looks like a Soviet that's for sure. Um Quick glance, he definitely, he definitely could obviously pass as a Soviet um, in a mock or something as well. So, um, yeah, sweet right there. So, great figure. And uh, that'll do it for the figure section. Now let's go ahead to the mini kits as well as that also. Oh, actually, let, no, let's head to the little, let's head to our little brick arms hall here. We got, we got ourselves a little brick arms hall um, yeah, as well. So, put the brick arm, that's the first brick arm obviously. And then we've got a little, little bag of stuff here. And we've got a bunch of perfect calibers. And some, yes, perfect calibers, freebies, hat, head, got some cool stuff in here. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm probably going to get a lot of the gun names wrong, but here we go. <laughs> so, starting it off, can point this down again so we can see this better. So, starting it off, we got two of these M1 carbines, perfect calibers. Um, so, these are pretty sweet. These are $5 each as well as all the perfect calibers are all five dollars each so picked up two of those for five bucks and then we've got two more i already have a few of these but two more car 98 perfect calibers and those are five bucks each as well so that was 20 bucks right there just little guns and then i picked up two more of these mp i picked up two more um, perfect calibers these are a little bit different one's got a green tint one's got a little bit of a red tint so these are like for resistance fighters um that's what i would think they'd be used for you know resistance fighters are not as clean um that's that's what i'm gonna use them for so those I think were three or five dollars each, and then uh, next up, these were the freebies they let us pick out. Got a PPSH here and tan, and then we got a oh my gosh, M uh, M24 something something like that machine gun. This is like in a goldish chrome color. So, and then I got two helmets here, two Vietnam helmets, both different. This one says uh, "Born to Kill." This one says nothing. This is just plain. Both three dollars there. Um, so those are sweet, and then I got a Brick Zemo hat. A uh, I'm not sure what the Japanese hat's called, but I'll actually go ahead and pop this on Japanese right now. And I got a nice little helmet or er, head there as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that hat with the Japanese. See how this looks. So that that oh that looks that looks sweet. Should have probably picked up one more of those. That looks sweet. Um, so great right there. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pop that over there on my one of my figure displays over there. So now we got him over there on the figure display and. Uh, Let's put that there for reference, and uh, yeah, so, oh, oh, last thing right here, we've got a Russian, or Soviet, well, not Soviet uh, machine gun, I'm pretty sure this is called like a SG-28, or it's something with a 28 in the name, it has a 28 in the name, I'm not sure the exact name, I had a few of these a while back, um, but the, I lost all the, like, the wheel magazines that go on the top like this, so, yep, yeah, picked up one more of these, or picked up one of these so there's the brick arms haul of it and uh yeah so moving on now to the mini kits let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit that's as far as it goes and uh we'll go ahead and start with my least favorite favorite i'm so torn with these i don't know which way to put these so we'll go ahead and start off with the civil war one though as i said not the last one so we got the eighth u.s colored heavy artillery um napoleon gun with a limber so we've got two different figures in here both obviously union figures and uh, obviously so we'll go ahead and just show the figures and then the kit will be built a separate time so there's that pretty sweet kit definitely will be built and a review coming on that soon um, so let me go ahead I will show the figures though really quick and we've got two more mini kits as well to show here and uh, yeah so we've got two figs oops absolutely dumped, accidentally dumped some of the pieces out and yeah so two figures here this is sweet. All right, so we've got just two different 
pretty much the same figure, um, just a little bit different skin tone for each of these. Um, so this is like more like the clone color, I would say, um, that you see more Lego in the newer Lego uh, clone troopers. This is the color they did, that skin tone. It's like a medium to got, I think that is. Uh, that's the correct color scheme. Um, and then, and then we've got the African American here. Um, so African American skin tone. So both very sweet figures. And this is the eighth U.S. colored heavy artillery um, set. That's what it's based under. So I guess the eighth division. I'm sure there's some history behind this. I'm not sure the whole history. Not the greatest with Civil War. So if someone wants to. Throw it, throw in the, some history down there. Would appreciate it. If someone was writing a comment. So there's that. That's one of the mini kits. And let's move on to the next mini kit. So the next mini kit we'll go ahead and do will be the quarter ton truck with canvas, a U.S. Uh, U.S. scout car. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the figure in here. So got some cool elements as well. Oh, this one actually comes with a. Perfect. Ah, I wouldn't consider this perfect caliber. It just is a little printed gun. Um, actually, yes, this is a perfect caliber. This is a perfect caliber. Yes. So we'll go ahead and show you the perfect caliber. Comes the perfect, sweet perfect caliber, actually. Um, so it's got some wood markings on there. Um, nice little pouch clip to the back. So this is an M1 carbine, carbine with extended stock. Um, so yeah, sweet. And there's the figure right there. Um, just, just some basic. This is kind of like in D-Day Squad Pack One. He's got a cigarette in his mouth there. Um, just basic, standard U.S. infantry, pretty much. Um, nothing, nothing crazy about the figure, obviously. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd show him. And the last, but definitely not the least, definitely one of my, definitely probably my favorite figure of the haul um, will be in this next mini kit here. Um, that's the reason I picked up a bunch of mini kits. I was thinking about get, getting one big kit, and I went, you know what? I like all these mini kits, so why not get, why not get a bunch of mini kits? So. Next one, we got the BRC-40 Bentic. Um, well, there's your command car. We got a command car here. So for the Soviets, sweet figure and another perfect caliber here as well. So go ahead and show you this. Build perfect caliber. I actually have not. This is the one figure actually out of the entire thing. I did not pull out, but it is my favorite. Um, I just looked it through the bag. So I built them in the bag. Like I was like challenging myself in the car on the way back. Just trying to build them in the, build them in the, in, in the, yeah, so here's the perfect caliber. This is a sweet perfect caliber. These are definitely worth, uh, these these were, I think, five bucks as well. So this is another five bucks perfect caliber. Um, this this was actually on sale, 20% um, off or something. This was only 75 bucks, I think. Um, I'm not sure what it is online, but it had an orange tag. So that means it's retiring soon, and it has, and it was a little bit cheaper. Some reason. Not sure the whole thing behind that, but whatever, you know. Let's put that back in there and stick this back in the car just because it needs a gray hand, it looks like, for part. So, sweet figure. I love that cap for sure. I wish Brick Mini would make caps like that separately, but they have still not. So, uh, sweet cap. It is a little bit off. I think, I'm not sure if it's supposed to come up that high on the one side, but yeah, pretty sweet. Great, great figure. Um, just nothing crazy on the printing, you know, there's no lines. It's just, it's a basic printed figure, and I think that's actually dual molded black oh no it's not dual molded pants it looked like dual molded <laughs> um but definitely a sweet hat and a sweet gun that's, that's definitely what rounds out this figure and makes him a solid figure so all in all a sweet haul here from brick mania we've got did i put the other figures back wait no i didn't okay so we've got yes i did put i put the u.s figure back in the mini kit so we've got for you guys three mini kits in this haul oops and just knocked over all the figures. Three mini kits in this haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven figures as well to go along with it in total. Kind of many fig and a bunch of brick arms. Uh, spent way too much money on brick arms, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so an awesome haul here from Brick Mania. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Apologize, the video was over 20 minutes <laughs> or approaching 20 minutes now. Um, so. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. So I will be traveling for a little while. So this will be the last haul for a little bit. Unless I get a Minifico haul pretty quick. So order all the new pilots from Minifico. A little spoiler there. So thank you guys for watching. Drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.